Hey everyone, Dylan with the HD Perspective, and we've got the Mac Tools flyer for, I believe it's May, May, June. Uh, first page, oh, by the way, these are Canadian prices as I'm in Canada, so if you're somewhere else, you might see a different price. Anyways, uh, first up there, tap and die set, 81 piece, 359 bucks, so save 36. I guess that's their, I don't know, their charity or something, but a few different items there. I'm not really that familiar with their program, so don't know if it's good or bad or what. 18-piece uh, brake caliper toolkit and uh, some caliper hangers there, so uh, brake fluid tester for dot $3, $60. Uh, stethoscope, thirty bucks. Uh, coil on plug spark tester, forty dollars. Uh, Noid light kit. I guess that's for electronic fuel injection systems. <laughs> Not something that I'm really that familiar with, but uh, save thirty percent anyhow. A few deals there on that page. Uh, some platforms or scaffolding, I guess. Looks like the prices aren't too, too bad. Oh, you might be able to find something a little cheaper elsewhere. I'm not too sure. Uh, a little step there. Platform, $213. Uh, yeah, dead blow, steel face, flat hammers. So I don't know if you need that many like the three piece, I don't know, I'd probably just get whatever size you need the most, like 40 ounce, likely, but up to you, I guess. A electric brake force meter with dynamic load simulation and circuit testing. Okay, so you can test your lights or whatever without a, without a trailer. Test your plug anyways, and see what your uh, electronic brake controller is uh, putting out. Uh, spark checker kit for recessed plugs, $24. Uh, four piece steel line stopper kit. So you can use that to seal your lines up. Oh, steel lines there. Okay, and then some hose clamps look like looks like so both for eighty four dollars actually probably not a bad deal if if you need something like that uh, pocket dial floodlight uh, the Maco lights are definitely bright uh, they don't have the best battery life I mean it's decent but looks like it could be handy sixteen piece uh, quick change bit set. Pretty sure I've seen this on Amazon as a Sun X or something like that, so I'll uh, leave a link in the description if I can find it. It might be a little bit cheaper, although 57 bucks isn't bad. Uh, Two-piece push pin plier set. I'm getting those those plastic pins out can always be a pain, so I'm not sure how well those work, but if they work well, it could be handy. Uh, tap socket sets. I have the dedicated sockets personally, and uh, I use them, but uh, those could be good too, $62. Might be hard though if you need to get into a tight spot to tap a hole, but who knows. A low profile tool kit there, $108. Uh, buy one, get one, long uh, hex drivers. Set, socket set there for 228 so you get the, the SAE and the metric looks like um, chrome deep sockets $127 for a quarter inch drive five piece and then some impact sockets there for $90 actually I kinda like the ADV's uh, sockets they're not bad Uh, 
a couple toolboxes there. The Revel X. It's a nice box for sure. I know some guys have complained that um, the drawers come open, I think, a little too easy when you're rolling it around, like, or you have to lock it. I can't remember if that's Mako or if somebody else. Um, oh, and the drawer slides, like, you can set the tension on it, so how, how easy it is for it to roll out, and I think that can wear out over time, but I'm not too sure. I don't have a Revel box, to be honest, so... And I'm just saying what, I, what I've what i heard from a few different guys. Uh, toolbox drawer lights. Hmm, that looks kind of cool. Um, gauge set for uh, doing your AC. 267. Usually that's built into your AC machine, but if you're kind of a DIYer guy or something, it might... Um, not be too bad and it also includes the uh, capacities for over a thousand vehicles that's uh, kind of handy because not all, you can't always find that out or it can be tricky usually it's somewhere on the, the firewall but sometimes that sticker is long gone or weathered so badly you can't read it leak tester uh, for 86 bucks there uh, four and five pin towing maintenance kit and a circuit tester there, 40 bucks each. Um, oh, the vacuum filler, $207. Uh, especially if you're in heavy duty, you need something like this. So, um, so easy to get an airlock in the system and that's never good. Uh, hose clamp plier set there, 111. So a few different um, sizes and angles and stuff. So. Handy to have for sure. Three quarter impact wrench there, eight fifty nine. Uh, those locking impact uh, extensions there, one hundred sixty seven. Could be handy. I could see the use for them, but uh, not sure if I want to pay that much for a few extensions. Uh, five piece air tool care kit, so you get the little uh, grease gun there, so you can. Get those little mini grease fittings. Yeah, I've got a similar one from Mac. I think it's pretty much the same, but. Uh, five piece step pickle fork kit. Yeah, 183 bucks. Could be a handy kit for sure. Um, if you buy a hose reel there, you can get a blowgun kit for free. $414 for both. Cleaning siphon gun, $140. Uh, cut off tool there, and you get a little cooler for your can, pop can, or whatever. Punch and chisel bundle set there, $298. Um, and some extra long ratcheting wrench set there, so metric combo kit. $309. Oh, and they got the... Okay, so the metrics have the pivoting in there. Oh, I guess they're both metric. Never mind. Um, Three-quarter drive torque wrench. I, I'm not the biggest fan of that style. Um, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's not really quite long enough, and it only goes up to 600 for pounds, although maybe that's what they do go up to. Um... Yeah, I like some other ones from like precision instruments, like the split beam style. A little bit longer handle, makes life a little easier. Got a lot of torquing to do anyways. Um, nine piece wheel lock removal kit. They uh, save digging around, trying to find the key if you're working on a customer's vehicle or something. Um, swivel sockets, also very handy to have. If you're in Canada anyways, um, they go on sale at Canadian Tire and the Mastercraft uh, maximum ones aren't bad um, and I've seen them on sale for like 20 bucks for the for the metric or for the standards so but they do skip a size and I can't remember off the top of my head what it is oil filter socket there $24 so I guess for Toyota um, brake spring tool actually I made a video on a tool that I made I'll link it in the description um, a little bit cheaper than that and probably 
um, easier to use too. So. Uh, Silver Eagle High Speed Air Saw, 191. Could be handy. I don't have one personally. I actually just got a Milwaukee um, hacksaw, and uh, it works for what I need it to do. Sunglasses and some different Mako stuff there. A little smoker grill. There you go. And the last page. So they got their scan tool there. So I'll let you look at that. And that does it for this flyer. So thanks for watching everyone. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you in the next one.